Writing a flawed character for television versus movies, realizing we need to keep that what's their core wound and why do they act out of that as the basis of kind of everything they do. What's the difference between the TV version of this flawed character and the movie version? The TV will, this character will never actually heal. He'll just keep bleeding. There's a great show called The Newsroom. Um, Aaron Sorkin probably got sick of the network and he, and he quit making it great. But the first year, it's great because Jeff Daniels is this wounded newspaper guy. And he's been wounded by the girl who comes in in the pilot to come back into his life. And what Mackenzie tells him in the pilot is, because Jeff Daniels is playing a guy who's long ago become a corporate whore. He's like, the, he calls himself the Jay Leno of news because he never wants to be controversial. He just says what he has to say to keep the ratings up. But he's been wounded by this girl who left him three years ago. And we're never told why. But she was the soul and spirit of good journalism. She believed that journalism should be like what it was here in the 60s, where Walter Cronkite told us the truth about our society. And that's all gone now. So Jeff Daniels is wounded per professionally because he has to become a corporate whore every night on the newscast. And he gets good ratings. And he's wounded personally by McKinsey having left him. She comes back in the pilot and says to him, I know you're pissed, I know you're pissed because I left you, and you're right to be pissed, but you know what? You've become a whore, and I want you to become a great newscaster again, and I'm going to help you because she's a producer. Now, Jeff Daniels in this pilot, he's furious with her. He says to her, you, we screwed up, I trusted you. He's so angry, he can't even sit down. Now, this wound, if it was a movie, by the end of the hour and a half story, he and Mackenzie would have reconciled. She would have not only helped him professionally, because she does, she helps him put on a newscast that actually is truthful and good and valiant and virtuous again. But they would also personally probably either come together or split apart, one or the other, depending on whether you're making a happy ending or a tragedy. But in television, that ending is just, well, I think I love you. I'll see you next week. So those wounds don't heal, they just keep bleeding. So in television, what replaces the healing of this heart, of this wound, is character surprise. Something new comes out of the character you'd never seen come out of them before. In Jeff Daniels' character, he surprises us by deciding, damn it, I am gonna put on a good newscast. I am. He's, we're surprised at the very beginning of the show when he bursts out at Northwestern in this panel and says, we're crap. We're not number one. America's not number one. We, we suck. So in television, this wound just continues to bleed for five years. I mean, how long did Gray on Gray's Anatomy want to get married? I think 10 years. I think she finally got married year 10. I think she's divorced again. So television gives us characters who actually are a lot more like us in real life. And I think that's another reason TV is powerful in a way, is that we don't heal generally all in, in a month or two months. It's a lifelong process. So wounding and bleeding is kind of the way we go through life. So television shows us in a way in a way, there's more depth in television than in movies, although movies has, have, have real depth too. But we can see week after week facets and surprises of characters that we would never have time to see in a movie, right? The depth of, of, of Walter White's uh, uh, turns, uh, the depths of uh, the turns we get in Mad Men, the way Don Draper, by the way, is a guy who in the first episode is running away from a wonderful wife and a family into the arms of another woman. What's he doing the last season? He's running away from a love of a wonderful woman and a family. He doesn't really change. Why do we want to watch him? Because he keeps surprising us. Well, he's got a new wife. Oh, certainly he's going to be happy now, yes, season four. No, he's going to go start banging the upstairs neighbor who's not even particularly compelling or attractive. Why? Because of his core wound. Don Draper's core wound is, I'm unlovable. And we see that when we watch how his mom died and he was raised by this woman who hated him, an abusive father too. 
Now, what do you do when you're unlovable, when that's your core wound? What is the behavior and the compensation that comes out of that? Well, for Don Draper, it's, I'm going to become incredibly seductive. I'm going to be incredibly handsome and charming. I'm going to make a ton of money. I'm going to be the most suave, sophisticated guy you could ever meet so I can just seduce freaking great amount of women, which he does. But what happens to you when you have that wonderful woman and that love, but your core wound is I'm unlovable? What happens then? We see it with Don. Wait a minute. You love me? You want to be with me? What's wrong with you? Get away from me. I want her. I have to pursue her. And we see all that in season one episode pilot. And we see that through the entire series. Don trying to change and not really being able to. And that sustains the entire show. His core wound literally drives every episode of the entire story. And this is what core wounds always do. This is why it's the nuclear reactor of a great character.